Well, folks, it's a little noisy around me here because there's a lot of construction going on. But hey, welcome to another episode of JNB Tuning. Uh, in today's episode, uh, it's a little different than what I normally do. I'm doing an oil change on this Honda Pilot, and I figured I'll do a an oil change and talk at the same time. This is mainly just to, you know, have fun with you guys and chat and the whole nine yards. So, anyways, guys, uh, I'll tag you guys along on this journey on getting this oil change done. So, mainly this is just a vlog. A regular vlog and uh, it's just mainly to you know have you guys with me in the process so stay tuned you guys gonna hear a lot of background sound here in the process because I'm outside of the garage uh, technically here um, and uh, yeah I'm still continuing the, the work that I'm working on uh, on this pilot which is basically the a136 service for this Honda pilot uh, I have my shades on here guys, my clip on here because it's a little sunny. Um, so yeah, uh, as, I, as I said, you're gonna hear a lot of background sound here. This car is gonna be driving back and forth here in the process. But uh, anyways, um, what I'll do is uh, really um, work on this car here and have you guys with me in the process here. I'm not gonna really, well, I'm gonna give you some tips here and at the same time. Uh, from time to time but mainly I'm here to just do some chatting with you guys in the process um, as you guys have uh, probably seen the previous episodes I've been I've done the ATF on this baby I've done the um, the, the real rear differential fluid uh, I'm currently getting the um, the tires uh, prepared the summer tires and um, mainly um, we we've been having some wobble on uh, one of the the, uh, the tires or one of the wheels so I brought it again to uh, a Quicksilver and sure enough one of the tires in the rear uh, has a huge bend um, it's warped or bent um, several years ago we took the car to uh, the US there in the Badlands and uh, I hit a pothole and since then it's been wobbling um, but never got around to truly fix the problem so this time um, that's going to be fixed and now hopefully the car is gonna definitely uh, you know be smoother uh, in, in the drives basically in the process so anyways guys I'm continuing the uh, the work that I'm doing here um, I'm not really gonna do a how-to video on this I'm just going to have you guys along in the in the process so Anyways, I'm, I'm now underneath there. I got my oil pan and uh, I'm going to undo the, uh, the drain bolt there and drain the, the oil, uh, technically. So, I got a 17 socket here and uh, pretty much uh, it's not hard to do the, uh, um, the oil pan is basically just right on the uh, right side of the car and uh, all right time to drain right here I've already uh, started the car a little bit and uh, just to warm the oil because you don't want to be doing any oil or liquid change when it's uh, super cold out and the engine's cold, so this way then you get to, um, you know, the, the oil will be a little bit warmer than usual. There we go. I got my drain plug here. I got my crush washer back there, so I'm gonna get some towel here before I start messing up the garage. I pretty much do the upkeep of most of the cars um, as what's dedicated uh, on this channel is mainly I try to do all my work as much as I can um, you know, 
it's just something I like to do and uh, at the same time why not save some money right so but from time to time I do send it to the dealer or the shop if I don't have time to work on the car so uh, yeah drain plug looks good I don't see any issue here I got a crush washer back there I'm sure you could reuse this crush washer several times but hey they're pretty cheap so no big deal there So while it's dripping guys, I'll just uh, go grab the oil and the filter basically here. Uh, yeah, my life is lovely now, I'm focused on me. You said you were about to die, I guess the car is on E. But see, I ain't even tripping because I just chose to believe that somebody gonna come around. Well, pretty much uh, since uh, it's pretty cheap really. Um, and I do most of the work myself, so I always go OEM on my parts, especially the filter and the whole nine yards. Uh, I try to go original as much as I can, um, given that I'm saving money already, uh, might as well use the original parts in this case. So, But on the oil side of things, I'm a, a big Castrol in no association at all or um, or partnership with them uh, but I do use edge quite a bit because that's what I do what I use for my Volkswagen cars so anyways guys it's a nice nice oil to use that's for sure here's our new crush washer the beauty thing is they always uh, tape it on the box here which is pretty handy so I don't lose it in the process I normally don't throw away any of my crush washers guys I just basically store them in a big pile uh, somewhere just in case I you know need them someday whatever because a, a lot of times some of these old cars at some point in time uh, they stop supporting them and uh, you know I could always reuse some of this because they're not they're only one-time use yeah anyways it's uh, dripping quite a bit there um, yeah it's uh, almost stopped now but uh, again Lots of plans here guys, there's a lot of work to be done, that's for sure. Um, as you can see the car is really filthy and uh, I'm gonna definitely going to do some cleaning on the engine bay as well. Since we got our new pressure washer now, uh, I could definitely do some detailing videos for you. to see how messy and, and grungy and, and, and uh, gross looking the engine bay is uh, and that's basically what the uh, this car go through because it's a winter car. It's it's my it's my winter bitter, so it, it pretty much just that you know it gets all the beating it needs. So how's it going, guys? Good, pretty good. Yeah, I think it's ready to go here, guys. I'm gonna plug the the drain now with our new crush washer and uh, do a little bit of wiping here. Nope, it's still dripping. Uh, yeah, it takes some time. It's gonna drip for a while there. Let it drip. And uh, again, I could do more blobbing here again. Um, so. Yeah, given uh, the pandemic and all, and uh, we can't really go anywhere this summer, so the plan is really to uh, continue working on the cars, of course spend time with the family, uh, 
spend time with the family and uh, definitely do some outdoors uh, camping in the whole nine yards. Um, this summer, you can't really travel anywhere in this case, but uh, obviously I'll, I'll be doing a lot of work on the Golf R and also on this uh, Lotus here, um, inspired Lotus uh, car and uh, basically um, possibly the Jetta as well. So the Jetta has some issues with the axle, uh, drive axle there. I have a bit of vibration going and uh, hopefully I can get that fixed. And the Golf R is, is perfect. It just requires more work in terms of little mods there. So I have some um, parts lined up. I'm not gonna spoil uh, uh, the um, the idea here but uh, basically I would like to do some mods on the Golf R a little bit because it's fairly stock uh, it's bare bone from the looks point of view it's been you know it's pretty much stock you know and uh, I would like to get the, the window tinted as well and the tint will s definitely it's going it's going to be as light as the uh, Golf uh, the Mark 7 Golf at one point um, and uh, not as dark as the Suna Sunfire, but uh, it will be uh, somewhat uh, tinted. And uh, same thing with the uh, the Jetta, I'll be doing some tinting as well on that, um, just to give it a bit of a, a, a look to it, so. Yeah. Another issue that I'm uh, currently trying to troubleshoot in the process, um, I believe I probably do have uh, an end link sway bar end link uh, that needs to be fixed it needs to be changed uh, I got some clunking noise mainly on the small bumps I don't see it on high speed or bigger bumps it's mainly just the small little bumps uh, I do have that clunkiness in here so yeah the, the sway bar end links here definitely is it's loose I don't see any real movement there but it could be the main issue or it could just definitely be just uh, my sway bar itself and all the bushings um, yeah I don't know maybe it requires a new bushing in that sense uh, something that we could definitely look into in the process as well so I'm gonna move my mic um, yeah, so that is one work that I need to do. Uh, also, the pilot requires some painting. Uh, for some reason, some of the plastic trims, uh, it's the spoiler in the back, and also that um, accent on the plate there, the, you know, the, 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 the basically the plastic that surrounds the, uh, the plate uh, number in the back, uh, that part has, for some reason, um, fade on the uh, basically the uh, the clear coat is, is totally gone so I'm gonna be sanding that down and um, re you know spraying it with a uh, clear coat there and see if I can salvage it so yeah um, can't wait to get the wheels the summer wheels on and what I normally do with the wheels I uh, I you know I mark them of course when I take them off uh, before the winter time mark them and uh, once I put them back on that's when I rotate uh, the orientation of those tires from last year so yeah um, that's pretty much what uh, I have here and then um, hopefully Joe will be able to fix that tire and they'll be able to get that wobble um, you know fixed in the whole nine yards yeah I should have taped the uh, when we, we tested it out, uh, you could definitely see how the wobble is, especially the inside wall um, has been wobbling. So yeah, can't wait to get that fixed. And uh, getting this car, this, this Gen 1 Pilot uh, looking better um, than this ugly winter tires that it's ha it has now. Um, yeah, for some reason too, my, my rims here uh, the OEM rims that came with the car I really never took care of it well because it's my winter winter wheels and uh, they are flaking off so I might do a segment or a video on 
you know, retouching this, you know, sanding it down, repainting it in the whole nine yards. So th stay tuned for that. Uh, I'll probably do that as well as a DIY. I know there's tons of videos on that regard, but hey, more content the better, that's for sure. So, my wheel slapped on me now, so we gotta twist that back later. Well, I almost grabbed the wrong oil here, given that there's so many oil for different cars here, so. It's 5W20 for this baby. I'm throwing a full synthetic in this regard. High mileage. It requires that nice juice to keep it going. Overall, the car, knock on the woods, but uh, it's in good condition. Um, no major issues here. I'll be doing more flush, flushing, flushing the uh, more fluids like. Uh, our steering, um, power steering, and uh, possibly the, the brakes as well. Um, you know, flush the brakes. And uh, I just did the coolant uh, recently. I didn't do any videos on that, but the coolant has been completely done. So, uh, yeah, and um, the heater core and the whole nine yards that do some flushing there so that way it works and continually working. So, In terms of the filter, uh, I got a technique on how I uh, remove the filter. I, uh, you know, it, it's dumb how these Hondas and the Acuras had their filter right on that uh, uh, the wheel well there, and so sometimes you got to remove the wheel to do so. But once you lift it up, it's really easy to get at. Uh, the only problem is the subframe is there, right on it. So I gotta really go around the subframe. What I normally do is if I remove it, I don't just remove it without plastic on top of it because then that whole oil just drips down, which is really crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I, I normally just wrap it with, with plastic and do it with, um, with my hand um, and then drain all that uh, fluid on the plastic there. And hopefully the plastic doesn't have any holes on it. So. Oh, crazy weather we're having guys. Uh, now it's snowing, um, insane. So this is basically what uh, spring is like in Calgary. Um, it uh, just changed on me and uh, now it's uh, snowing, but uh, it's not that bad. A little flakes here. You know, we normally get the four seasons in one day at, at, at times. So I just want to show you guys what, um, what I'm doing underneath here. I might as well show you guys. It's still dripping, so I... Uh, kept it off uh, for now but here's what I'm talking about here guys so here's the the filter here and uh, uh, you know our engine mount here or uh, subframe it's on the way and uh, you know all the oil basically drips right on this and so yeah it's really bad design in that sense but regardless it's easy to get at actually um, not too bad but the drain plug is uh, just right up here. As you can see my hand there. So it's still dripping. Uh, I'll, I'll close it in pretty soon here. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And uh, once that's done, we fill, fill it up and uh, way to go. So, so far so good. A little rusty on uh, our um, shocks there. It's the strut probably needs to be changed pretty soon um, as well. So um, control arm is again needs to be scrubbed up here. It's really that dirty. Um, so I'm gonna be doing some cleaning, guys. As you can see, the car is not so bad. Uh, being a winter vehicle, I do wash it from time to time. Um, as you guys seen me in some of my videos where I. Every time the Chinook comes, and if to anybody that don't know what Chinook is, really, when the weather warms up in Calgary, the warm Pacific wind blows towards uh, us, and normally this is in the uh, uh, south uh, uh, side of uh, Alberta, and normally we get the south wind, they call, and it's a windy day, but uh, 
regardless it brings all the warm wind and melts everything in the process which is really nice uh, and that's when I take the chance to just once in a while um, so you guys notice there's looks like a, a cloud and it's like trending to either rain or, or snow here now so insane but yeah yeah that's pretty much it and uh, our our fill plug right there so that's we are going to be filling the, the oil and our uh, dipstick uh, basically is right right here so yeah fairly easy guys very straightforward uh, much like any other vehicles out there especially the old vehicles are a lot easier to do the old change so anyways what else uh, you know is uh, I could share with you guys um, I just recently did uh, one year you know I'm gonna put this back on the tripod here yeah I just recently did the one year uh, anniversary video for you guys and uh, yeah I just wanted to provide some updates and uh, feel free to check that out and uh, you know I'm sharing you guys and gave you an update on how the dream garage is, is doing um, you know all the stuff I've done with um, the updates on this car on uh, or sorry the changes on this garage on how um, it has evolved uh, somewhat not completely yet but you know that's how it is really I'll take my time and enjoy it uh, all the changes I'm going to be doing um, you know painting is done I still got to do the ceiling the whole nine yards um, and I'm hoping that uh, as soon as I have the money and funds to do so to be able to put the the, um, the furnace uh, and as well as my uh, my four post lift uh, in the future here and hopefully that could be done soon I know um, Ross at Lift King has been waiting for me in the process uh, again it just uh, a little tight on funds the economy is not the greatest at this point so yeah um, they, those are the part of the dream here uh, on this garage and so you know I uh, definitely just it helps me out on, on, on providing videos and providing content for you working on cars a lot easier than than me doing all the work on the floor uh, of course I'm probably gonna work on getting some uh, uh, you know lift as well uh, possibly just scissor lift for the begin beginning time I don't know if I can actually do a, do a two post lift at some point but uh, just little things like that I mean I could probably do a two post lift on this part of the, the garage uh, but I don't really want to clatter the garage too much. I might actually do a uh, Caesar lift instead because you know something I can tuck to tuck the way and uh, You know use anytime I want and then and, and basically hide it every time I want just something that I could lift the car with and Continue on working on the floor basically a little more space there, but hey nothing wrong with working on the floors How's it going guys? Pretty good. Enjoy my enjoy my days as usual. Getting a little chillier guys. Uh, the sun's picking out a little bit so that's helping quite a bit there. So uh, I uh, just put the plug back in. I'm gonna snug it back in there. Normally, don't torque the oil uh, drain plug here. I've been doing it so many times that uh, I just basically snug it, and I almost, you know, I know pretty much. I can gauge how much torque it needs in the process. Guys, 
now time to work on the filter I might show you guys the process I do in this case grab some plastic bag and then uh, show you guys how it's done all right folks I got a plastic bag with me I normally use is a, a see-through plastic bag this it's a lot easier to see and I, I take two of them to uh, just double it up because it does you know double it up and it's a lot easier to uh, to make sure that there's no holes on one of them so it's a lot easier to work with so we don't get any spill going on here so Yeah, the two plastic bag process, and I uh, normally wrap this baby up. Let me see if I can actually undo it first with my hand. Um, yeah, I might record. Record. Got my tool here now. Go. You got it. All right, folks. There's a plastic here. Hopefully, I'm not blocking your view. So, I uh, just basically wrap it in like this and. Try to hold the top as it turns. And of course, still gonna drip some oil here, guys, in the process here, but um, yeah, sometimes I'm unsuccessfully able to capture everything regardless, so. but as much as I can to prevent any of this mess from happening regardless it's still messy actually so <laughs> okay yeah there you go I'm just gonna leave it in here in the pan okay well you guys when you you appreciate the amount of work I do in producing a video for you uh, normally an old change it takes about a half an hour um, or even less it's taking me a double the time two to three hours due to the prep and videoing and and editing and the whole nine yards so uh, yeah that's the nature of you know a blogger and uh, you know normally a job that is easily done in half an hour it could easily go all the way to an hour to sorry for, oh, no anywhere from two to three to four hours sometimes depending on how you want the video to look um, anyways so uh the filter is off now so uh, I'm gonna prep the uh, new filter in um, 
It's funny how the weather now turns into uh, sunny. Sun is back and uh, it's a lot warmer again. So really weird weather at this point. What I, I, I normally do, guys, is that um, to prep the new filter in, I uh, basically just add, I got uh, another oil in there that it's So technically I just basically, you know, add a little bit of uh, oil into the filter here to get it started. And make sure we don't drip anything in the process. I could probably use uh, some towel here so we don't mess up. Make sure I don't want to block the view on you guys. good enough just in case now just take a dub and uh, lubricate our o-ring here and we're pretty much good to go got my new gloves on hand tight this baby in nice and snug and uh, we're pretty much good to go Get the video down here so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Yeah, you don't really need to remove the wheel here to get at the wheel well. Um, you just have to slightly, you know, move the tires that way or lift the car for that matter and uh, it does the job use my strong hand okay that's good alright folks we're ready to Uh, yeah, we're ready to put our our, our oil and uh, can put the camera back up here, guys. We're pretty much ready to go here, guys. Uh, you're pretty much ready to go here, guys, and uh, just gotta get the oil. No, I'm gonna drop the car down as level as we can and then um, yeah fill her up go for test drive make sure it's in the right level and uh, we'll go from there Big mess.
stands. Just make sure nothing underneath, guys. All clear. Time to drop the car. Slowly. Nice. So uh, what I'll do is, I uh, can't remember now how many, uh, I think it's 3.5 liters that we require. And uh, we'll try to, you know, put about a three liter there and, and check the, the, the level in the process. And I'll show you guys how that's done. And uh, so just wipe this baby up. Got our nice funnel here, nice and clean. Make sure that uh, don't have any particles in there that we will introduce inside the engine. So I need to wipe it nicely. extension there we'll use this additional funnel to reach down there making sure it's clean. Yep. One on top of the other. So the plug is pretty much uh, torqued down and our uh, filter is nicely snugged in there so way I do it normally guys I pour always the bottle uh, in the sideways instead of uh, this way I go this way so that's just to prevent any uh, bob bobbing or, or air pocket when you're actually doing this because it's a lot smoother it goes down a, little s a lot smoother if you do it on the right or on the flat side see guys I can show you this way you see how it's it's bubbling you know it, it's too much movement so if you go this way it's better flow again we got 5W20 Full synthetic on this baby. Let's see how much we have left. We probably got about a liter left underneath there, just a tad more. Let's fire, fire her up and uh, see how much oil we have there so far.
there's a slight grating on the uh, uh, on the car here basically the slant on the garage so I could uh, definitely just uh, raise it up a little bit on the front to keep it level slightly you really don't need to but it helps to just raise it up a little bit to level it's about a, a two inch um, an inch or two that's good enough anyways and uh, yeah then we'll fill her up check the, uh, start the car up and uh, start start her up and uh, you know warm the oil a little bit While that started, uh, it's a good idea to just to check underneath to make sure that there's nothing leaking. Dry as a bone. Alright folks, it just turned off the car now and uh, see where we're at on the level here. We're no near the mark yet, so uh, we'll keep going. Let's give that another check. Let me just check if, uh, quickly check the dipstick here. But we're still going to start the car up and uh, mix the oil up a little bit underneath there. I could see I could see the mark there now Let the oil drip a little bit here, guys.
I'll start her up again. One more time. about this car it sounds so cool sounds so the engines just nice and sound no clanking whatsoever now let's check it one more time where we at in the level here guys Perfect. We're right on there, guys. As you can see, I don't know how well this is gonna show, but uh, yeah, we're right on the money there, guys. We're good to go. We'll check again a couple times after a while and add if we can or if it requires, and uh, we're all good. It's a little different, guys, than what I normally do. Again, uh, as, as I'm just blobbing away as I as I go, uh, this is mainly to just uh, a way to connect with you guys, to get to know me better, and as well to share you guys what other plans I have uh, in store. Um, mainly, yeah. Again, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and don't forget to press that bell as well, so you could actually get all the. Um, notifications every time there's a new video that comes out uh, and uh, yeah thank you again for your support as always until next time peace out uh, yeah my life is lovely now I'm focused on me you said you were about to die I guess the car is on E but see I ain't even tripping cuz I just chose to believe that somebody gonna come around and give me just what I need I don't want to see you finally see you looking down and out coming to me crying saying